Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a collection slash review of Le Labo. Now, Le Labo is such a cool, cool store. I actually went to the store in um, New York City. Um, I did not go to the one in Olita. I went to the one in... Oh, now I can't think of the name. I went to the one on the Ace Ho from the Ace Hotel, basically. Really, really cool experience. They hand make the perfume for you. Now, I should say hand mix. They don't um, specifically make a perfume for you. They have a collection. Um, Le Labo is called The Lab. So they have like a lab of perfumes. Um, and you smell them. Whatever one you really like. Um, they will hand mix for you. So they add the essential oils, the alcohol, and everything freshly to the bottle. And they add a label with your name and the day that it's made and where it was made. So that's really, really, really cool. Um, this is the first perfume that I got, which I will definitely talk to you guys about. Really, really cool. So, starts off, I knew I was going to go to Le Labo. I knew I was going to shell out $175 for a teeny tiny bottle of perfume. I knew it was going to happen. So, that was the day I went to see Adele in New York City, which was absolutely amazing, can I just say. I love her so much. So, went to New York that morning, went to the Le Labo Boutique, had a feeling I knew which one I was going to get, but I wanted to smell them all. I mean, come on. So, I picked the one that I knew I wanted when I walked in. I love rose fragrances. And when they had a fragrance called Rose 31, I knew it had to be for me. But when I was reading things online, they do not smell like a traditional rose. You really have to smell it. It's not something you blindly buy, let's just say. So I went in and I smelled that first and it was not what I expected at all. But I sprayed it on my skin, walked around the boutique, it's not very big, smelled the fragrances. I'm sorry if I'm like looking over here as I'm telling the story because I'm trying to find what I'm looking for. Okay. Went in, smelled the fragrances. That Rose 31. It was all I could think of. The reason why it's called Rose 31. Rose is the main note, and there's 31 ingredients in the perfume. That's it. They don't spend a whole lot of time naming the fragrance. It's all about the perfume. So, here is the perfume that they made for me. Rose 31. 1.7 ounce. Eau de Parfum. Compounded at Ace by Cali on September 23rd for Drew Yawk. How freaking cool is that? Like, I have never seen anything like that. Rose 31 transforms the famous grass rose, a symbol of voluptuousness and unqualified femininity, into an assertively fragrance that can be worn by men and women. The result is a model of its kind, alternating feminine and masculine with the ambiguity of the Centifolia Rose, which is quickly picked up by a chorus of warm, spicy, and woodsy notes such as cumin, olibinium, cedar, and a touch of amber. In the background, the declared sensuality of Gaiac wood and the background of uh, and citrus, highlighted by a distinctly physical animal note. It gives this perfume a Disconturing sense of mystery. So notes of rose, cumin, cedarwood, gayak wood, oud, Bulgarian rose, and vetiver. Now, pardon me, I'm actually going to pull up the photos of the Le Labo Boutique in New York. Oh, it is very spicy. Le Labo, okay. Here we go. So this is the Le Labo Boutique in New York City. It's very small. That's where you go. I wish this would focus better. This is where you go to smell the perfumes. There they all are. There's more of them. There's more of them. There's their. So there's the perfumes over there. And then the candles are over here. Whoops. Because they also have awesome candles. This is where they hand stamp and engrave the. Um, the bottles of the travel sizes and there was Vinny and Callie making my perfume 
and then there's the box rose 31 there's my bag when I was in Manhattan getting that perfume now let me just say that was the coolest experience ever so he filled up my perfume and there was a teeny the teeniest bit left in the vial and he said do you want me to just put it on your skin and wear it out for the day instead of me wasting it and I said yeah so I put it like behind my wrists or behind my wrists behind my ears on my wrists and I went out in New York I have never gotten so many compliments on one perfume in my entire life than Rose 31. I was like, that is absolutely insane how many people are complimenting me on how wonderful I smelled. Like, it's just crazy. I go to New York. I go to Madison Square Garden and sit down at Adele. It's a couple of the people I'm with, me, the other person I'm with, and then other people. There was a group of two girls next to the girl that I was with. And the one said, who is wearing Rose 31 by Le Labo? Now, this was eight, nine hours after I bought the perfume. I was like, I am. And we went and I was just blown away. Talked to her. She wears the um, Santal 33, which is like the traditional. Everybody in New York City loves Santal 33. Side note, it's amazing. I have it. I'll talk about that. But it was just like, holy crap, this is so, so, so cool. Like, I can't get over how amazing this perfume is. And it is. It's literally incredible. And you can't even describe it. It's like a spicy rose. It's just, it's out of this world, you guys. It's out of this world. So, brought it home. Everywhere I went, people commented on how wonderful I smelled. It's just... It really was absolutely incredible. I went to the Apple store, somebody said. I went to um, I went to Macy's, people said. Nordstrom's. Everywhere I went, people were commenting about how wonderful my fragrance is. And I'm like, how in the world can one perfume do this? Like, it's just crazy. So, even though I have, like, this much left, I still have a lot. I still have a lot of this perfume left. I did buy the big 3.4 ounce size these retail for 260 dollars it's a lot of money in new york city for drew yock another thing that's really cool though side note if you bring back your empty bottle to the Labo boutique they will refill it for 20 percent off which is nice so let's calculate this so you're buying this you wear it all the time this will be 140 dollars to fill up the big one will be $208 to fill up. So it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, my only thing is I want to get a new bottle every time because it'll show, like, the day I was in New York and stuff like that. And it's just really, really cool. I don't know. It's just how I am. But uh, they might put a new label on. I'm not exactly sure. So I did purchase that bigger bottle of Rose 31. I've barely used it because I still want to use this guy up, this little, petite, beautiful, beautiful perfume. So... Then I dove right in, just like I do with everything, and I've discovered so many other Le Labo perfumes. Now you're probably thinking, you have so many Le Labos. You keep these guys in the fridge and they stay fresh. That's why I can have so many. So the next one that I have is Santal 33. Santal 33, I googled, is the fragrance of New York City almost. Like, if you go to New York City and you don't smell Santal 33 in the air something wrong because everybody wears Santal 33 almost in New York. So, the classic image of a man and his horse in front of the fire on a great plain under the tall blue evening skies, a defining image of the spirit of the American West is the inspiration behind Santal 33. Born from the ambition to create an olfact olfactive form of this for powerful idea, this woody rich scent opens up with violet accord and cardamom with papyrus, iris, ambrox, with base notes of cedarwood, leather, and cedarwood. Oh my gosh. Again, these perfumes are so hard to describe. It just smells like fresh wood. I can't even describe I'm going to spray it on the other wrist. I'm just going to smell like every Le Labo. I'm definitely going to have to take a shower after this. Mm. Another perfume. It smells like a furniture store. 
I know it sounds really crazy to think. I have this in the candles. Um, it is called 33. Computer went to sleep. It's called 33 in the perfumes. It's called 26 in the home fragrance. Rose 31 is not available in a home fragrance. I wish it would, but um, uh, the 33 is 26 in the home. Reason being is because there's less ingredients to make the home fragrance than the perfume. And the candle is to die for. It fills up the entire house. But this Santal 33, it smells like a furniture store is the best way that I can describe it. Fresh, fresh leather with a little bit of a floral in the back, but it's nothing that's like, ew, if you don't like florals, you're not going to like it. It's just absolutely beautiful. I can't even, I can't even describe how wonderful these fragrances are. And I'm not being sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just talk about how much I love this brand so much, and it means so much to me, especially with the Adele concert. She is my absolute favorite person in the world, Adele. I love her so much. So to have these perfumes, I would have never met my friend now, Vanessa. Shout out to her. I love you. Shout out to her if I never bought this fragrance, which is crazy to think about in the world. I just, I think that's awesome. Next, another one that gets me a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of compliments is Te Noir 29. Now, I love my Byredos, I love my Diptyques, I love my Jo Malone's. They have average staying power. These are pure perfumes. These are going to last you from the moment you wear it in the morning till you take a shower at night or the morning after. You are going to smell these perfumes. These are not meant to be delicate and light. And that's why you don't wear these every day. Because some places where I go, I don't want my perfume to outshine everything else. So, Tainor 29 is an ode to the noble tea leaf and the craft that surrounds it. It combines depth and freshness, softness and strength, through permanent oscillation between the light of bergamot, fig, and bay leaves, and the depth of cedarwood, vetiver, and musk. A special extraction of black tea leaves wraps up the composition by bringing, by bringing to the formula a leafy hay tobacco feeling in the dry base, transforming this creation into a sensuous and addictive essence. Citrus rich, soft, fresh, and sensuous. So there's top notes of bergamot and bay leaves, black tea, and fig. Middle notes of hay tobacco, base notes of cedarwood, vetiver, and musk. Another thing, all of these perfumes are vegan. They don't test on animals. They're a cruelty-free brand as well, which is awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and take this guy. The Te Noir 29, which means black tea. Noir is black. Te is tea. To me, it just smells like you, you were hit over the head with a tea bag, but it's a complex tea bag. It's weird to describe. It's like how I describe um, Chen from Diptyque as like a high-end Home Depot. It's crazy. Oh, I just love this so much. It is like the freshest black tea, but it has that fig, which makes it really, really sweet. But the tobacco, the cedarwood, the vetiver in there really makes it warm and different. It doesn't smell as good as it does on the skin as it does on that piece of paper. Like, the skin smells a lot better than the piece of paper. Love that guy as well. Then, Fleur d'Orange 27. As you can guess, orange. But, Fleur d'Orange 27 Eau de Parfum builds on the natural and extremely rare orange blossom. Its innate nobility is enhanced by fresh floral and lemony notes, rounded out by musk and the succulent sunny touches of bergamot, pettigran, and lemon. Floral, crisp, noble, and sensual. So, very, very fresh orange blossom. I love this. I mean, if you like any form of an orange blossom, you'll love this. And it's also in like an, it's like an orangey yellow color. It's not just clear like the other ones. They all have a slight tinge to them. Ooh, Flutter Orange 27 is so good. It just smells like the freshest, cleanest scent that you can imagine. It's, it is, it's like that fresh orange tree, but I smell a little bit of like the leaf of the orange. Really crazy. Really love that. Whoops. Then, last but not least, Labdanum 18. Wear this guy with conscience, or with conscious, with caution. 
This fragrance is an enigma. It doesn't conform to any of the laws of perfumery, though it has a strong concentration of oriental notes, with animal in an intonations of civet and castorium it remains a perfume that's discreet on your skin even though everything is combined to make it a power bomb listen to it whisper to your nose and the senses of those allowed to get close to your skin once you start you won't be able to stop listening oriental classic enigmatic and opulent notes of citrus cystus labdanum patchouli castorium tonka bean and vanilla to me when you're wearing a really thick cardigan, a really thick sweater or jacket or anything like that, you spray this guy on. It's really cozy. It's very warming. It has that vanilla and patchouli in there. So it's going to be very, very spicy, but it has a little bit of a warmth. You, I do see how they say wearing this close to the skin because it does give you that really, really like, come into my bubble, come and smell me and appreciate what I'm wearing and I'm allowing you to come close to the skin almost. It's really, really lovely. Um, Labdanum is a really cool fragrance. I've smelled it in a lot of other perfumes and candles and that kind of aspect. It is very animalic, which is weird. It smells furry almost, like you stuck your face into a blanket. It's really, really, really cool or into like a fresh like puppy dog. Mm, I just, it's really, really awesome. I love all of these perfumes and enough ranting and raving about how incredible these perfumes are go to new york go smell Le labos go all over the world and smell Le labos they are everywhere don't even get me started on the city exclusives there's one city exclusive <sighs> gayak 18 i want to say it is it is like 600 dollars um you can only get it in tokyo but in the month of september which again in the month of September, all the Lilabo boutiques have all the city exclusives, which are fragrances that only, like, New York City is two boroughs 40. You can only get that in New York, except in September, all the Lilabos around the world have those perfumes to purchase. Really, really, really cool. The Gayak is absolutely amazing. I got a sample. I don't want to talk about it. I wore the sample once, and then I dropped it on the ground and it shattered everywhere. It sucks. But... It is a beautiful fragrance, and I'm definitely saving my pennies so I can get that perfume in September and cherish it and love it forever, like a little baby. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried Le Labo, if you want to try Le Labo, and it's a dangerous addiction, you guys. I'm just letting you know. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye!